everybody. So, we all know, I mean, especially the ladies, we know that no outfit is complete without one fabulous accessory, or perhaps two, maybe three. <laughs> and our next guest is here to tell us which ones we should be shopping for this season. Please welcome Fashion Magazine senior editor, Sarah Castleman. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi. with uh, accessories for this spring? Well, the spring runways were chock-a-block with lots of wearable trends. As you can see, I brought some here today. There's kind of two camps, I think, for spring. The maximalist is having a huge moment. Pile it on, more is more is a big M.O. Melissa, <laughs> Melissa and Tracy Melshore. <laughs> and then there's the minimalist girl who's, you know, wearing very pared down, sleek and chic pieces. That would be me. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. That's something for everybody. All right, so why don't we start with something we're seeing everywhere, and that is the choker. And mm. speaking of runways, we saw this everywhere, Balmain, for example, Dior, JW Anderson. It was all over the spring runways. So give us some of the selections that you brought here. For sure. And the 90s are back in a huge way. So the choker, of course, we all remember, some of us anyway, um, you know, that that's back for spring. One of the pieces here that I personally love is Jennifer Fisher. Love that very, you know, minimalist feeling and that almost arty loop-de-loop -loop at the front. Mm. Um, at the very front here, we have a local Canadian um, jewelry designer, Jenny Bird, and she's done something a little more futuristic. That multi-layered look kind of has a Mad Max feeling. It's yeah. really Really chic. Yeah. That would look great for day or night. Speaking of night, Aldo's done something really inexpensive and fun in the way of bling. So if bling is your thing, um, you know, lots of embellishment and it has a very regal feeling. Gorgeous. And then here, Marnie at Holt Renfrew has done something fun. This is a, a, um, a convertible piece. So you can actually wear it very tight to your neck as a choker or you can wear it as a longer pendant, um, which is really fun, and it kind of has a festival mm. feeling when you lengthen it a little bit. That's great. But you could go 90s. I mean, I was mentioning Selena Gomez in my best dress because she was wearing three chokers. I love it. Right? <laughs> and so she had the, she was layering them, and I, that could go wrong in real 90s bad. I mean, she looks great, obviously. <laughs> so how do you keep it contemporary? Well, I think that your clothing choices really come into play. So maybe steer clear of crop tops or that micro mini skirt. <laughs> Nothing that Cher from Clueless might wear. Okay. Ah. General rule of thumb. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stick with uh, ear, uh, sorry, uh, jewelry, because the statement earring is the earring trend that's staying, and you're saying that you should be investing in this for spring, and we saw it on the runways. Designers like Marnie, Pucci and Oscar de la Renta uh, gave us that inspiration. So tell us what you brought us. Right, so the statement earring has been kind of gaining momentum the last couple of seasons. Even our cover girl for our May issue, Olivia Munn, is rocking an amazing shoulder duster pair. So they're definitely on the scene. Oh, those are gorgeous. Ooh, yeah. Amazing. Gorgeous, love that. And so here are some great examples here. We'll start with this mismatched pair. These are from Oscar de la Renta from um, Holt Renfrew. This is meant to be worn as an ear cuff. Um, so it's up your ear and then also with the one stud. So you can kind of mismatch them, wear them on one side, play around with them. Um, you probably remember on the red carpet with um, Sir Sharonin. At the Oscars? At the, yeah, yeah, that was amazing, that, those jade and diamond earrings. So it's really all about showcasing your personality with this type of trend. Um, over here, these are from Asha in New York. These are beautiful. I love that kind of take on the, you know, glamorous chandelier style. And we all love that kind of little bling for spring, but also the, the <sighs> turquoise is really nice too. It adds a splash of color, which is really nice when the weather starts to warm up. Over here is fun with H&M. Um, you know, that's a really inexpensive idea for festival dressing with that kind of J-Lo inspired large hoop. When you say oh. festival, I mean Coachella's coming <laughs> totally, up. Totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. And How so, about these ones? And these are fun too. So, you know, these are from Whole Renfrew. I love that they're kind of that abstract floral. It's really fun. We, I mean, I do wear a lot of black even in spring, summer. So I just love that little kind of extra hit of crystal or embellishment. It really kind of adds it to next level chicness. Okay, I, I see spring, and this season I also see a lot of headbands as well. And mm -hmm. speaking of runways, we're seeing these all over the place. Dolce Gabbana, Gucci, Saint Laurent, the headband, the head adornment. So how do we do this trend? Yeah, so we're seeing that in a big way too. I love this one. I want to call out the scarf band first. This is my, one of my personal favorites. It kind of has that La Dolce Vita flair. And H&M does a really fun way. It takes the guesswork out of it. You don't actually have to tie the scarf. It's right on the band. This is an actual band here. 
Um, so it kind of has a very preppy kind of feeling, which is really fun for spring. This is very elegant. This is kind of going in a very different direction with that kind of organic leaf motif. And this is from H&M as well. Um, this is really fun for, again, Coachella, lots of festival dressing here with that floral crown. Um, and you know, the color here is great. And this is gonna really pair well with that season's flowy maxi dresses, that ethereal kind of, you know, country feeling, uh, you know, going through the grass. And look, Ariana Grande made it. I know, <laughs> here she is. Katy Perry, Ariana Grande, the cat ear is going nowhere. Um, this may not be for everybody, but it's really fun, and it's a kind of fun way to kind of jazz up party dressing. This would be great with a little LBD, and I love that pop of fuchsia. Yeah, there it is. So cute. Come on over here. Okay. Uh, what we want to talk about is handbags, and you're highlighting um, for spring this new trend, which is the LOL, or the whimsical bag. So this trend <laughs> was really big with designers like Chanel, Anya Hindmarsh, and Moschino. So tell me what you brought in for me. Yeah, so this bag definitely packs a punch. They come in all different sizes and price points, which is great. And it's kind of like wearable art for your, for your arm. We'll start over here with Aldo. I love this little soda pop can. Uh, you can wear it cross body or as a shoulder bag. This is like literal pop art, really, for your arm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a really fun way to get in on the trend. This is pretty too. I'm in love with this because it's such a classic bag, but then it's got Lego on front and on the front. My son would love this. <laughs> so cute. It's adorable. This is a really fun shape. This is Le Petit Jouet from um, Whole Renfrew. And again, as you say, like this is a playful element with the Lego, but on a very ladylike silhouette. So this is almost like a lady who lunches bag, but with a pop of fun. Okay. Um, and this is a bit quirky. It's definitely a conversation piece. <laughs> it is. is this is Tory Burch at the front. And this is great for iPhones and just all of your credit cards and things to kind of make your life easier. And I love this. It makes me think of like brains and beauty as a cross bag. Mm -hmm. And I guess for something like this, you're not going to wear um, a, a, a colorful outfit you want to go really subtle like a little black dress mm -hmm. because this is not subtle this not is not. Subtle. This is not. This, not. this is sign of the times, literally. This is uh, from Moschino at the room, and this is an amazing uh, investment piece for your wardrobe. Certainly, it's on trend, but a bag like this actually is timeless too. As you say, it looks great with a black dress, and your traffic stopping either way. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So, Sarah, last but not least, yes, footwear. So you're saying that the athletic-inspired footwear is where it's at this season. You have Tommy Hilfiger and Kenzo and Alexander Wang. We're all over. It. So I love it. Tell us about these. <laughs> so sneakers are going nowhere, thank goodness, because we might all love our heels, but we love comfortable, fashionable shoes. Yeah. So we now have alternatives. These are fun. These are from Dolce & Gabbana at Saks Fifth Avenue. I mean, look at this bling, the amazing embellishment and that bright pop of neoprene. So it's almost like a scuba suit for your shoes. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I just love that there's a little bit of height in this heel too. So you're not just in a flat shoe. You've still got a little yeah, lift. You've got a little bit of lift for your leg which mm -hmm, is nice mm -hmm. too. At the front, a little bit of um, a leopard print here, which is a timeless option. These are H&M, so that's really fun and sporty. Um, over here we have diesel. So if you are really into your denim, you're a denim head. These are great. Uh, certainly you could wear them with jeans, mm -hmm. but I would definitely wear that with a little mini skirt in the summer. Sure. Jumpsuit would be cute. Sure. At the front, this is our, uh, this is from Burberry. This is a sport sandal. So this is really cool for the city girl who's pounding the pavement in the summer and wants right. to look chic in the, in the heat. You know, it has a bit of a, a wedge heel and the mm -hmm. chain detail is great. And then but metallic. I mean, you can't, come on. Beautiful. Would you try metallic? Absolutely. <laughs> Look at these. But they do something interesting. They do. And so um, hidden right here in the tongue <laughs> are party pleasers. Ta da! <laughs> so they have the LED right into the sole, which is really cool. So these are from so Pop Shoes. You're, you're safe going across the street at night. You're safe going across. You're exactly. going to be a hit at the club. And these are rechargeable with, with a mini USB. So dance the night away. Oh, my God. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> we'll have more information about all these accessories available for you at the social.ca after today's show. And be sure to check out the newest issue of Fashion Magazine starring Olivia and Mum on the fashionmagazine.com. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We'll be right back.